da 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 Jack here for another weird grammar thing that I want to talk about. And today's video is going to be about contractions. What are contractions? Well, contractions are when you take the subject of a sentence and the verb of the sentence and you mush them together into one weird word. The form and the structure of a contraction uh, right here. Let me give you some examples. She is 21 years old. Mm, that's too formal. That's too... Mm, 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 mm. We should say she's 21 years old. She is she's. Uh, they have been to the U.S. twice. Mm -mm, don't say it that way. Say they've been. They have. They've been to the U.S. twice. They aren't here yet. Please wait a moment. This grammar form is strongly encouraged in casual conversation. So let's take a look at this real conversation between two people who are not me. Hi, Jill. It's a nice day, isn't it? No, it is not. It is cloudy and cold. But I see the sun's out. That is true. I must go outside more often. Jill is not a robot. She, th she thinks she is. Uh, the grammar gets tricky in three situations. One, questions and positive answers. Two, negative answers. And three, emphasis. We don't say, it's time for lunch. We say, is it time for lunch? And we don't answer, yes, it's. We have to say, yes, it is. Unless it's a negative answer. Is it time for lunch? No, it isn't. That's, yeah. Why do we make a contraction for the negative answer, but not the positive one? I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just teach them. To make ourselves more clearly understood, um, especially in telephone English, we ought to say each word clearly. They have been to the U.S. twice. Don't say they've been to the U.S. twice. But it's separate the contractions somehow is the point that is clear. I don't know why that is. And then we Americans, us Americans, Americans like myself, like me, myself, like Americans will make contractions whenever we want. Is not should be isn't, but we sometimes make isn't into ain't. Uh, do not uh, becomes not doesn't, but dunt. Dunt. Dunt it. Mm. Uh, we say don't it. And negative questions everywhere. Uh, weren't you at the shop yesterday? I know it's you. I, I've been following you for, for days. Days. Anyway, that is my confusing and weird grammar for this video, contractions. So, your homework is I want you to give me an example, a correct example, of using a contraction in the comments below. I'll see you later.